Hey what's up guys alone here, so season 6 is about to begin in just a bit and I want to talk about the placement games because that's the first thing everyone is going to be doing if you're into competitive mode. So when season 5 was about to be released and everyone was going to do their placement for that season I made a video talking about how the placement games worked for that season and the reason why I wanted to make another one for season 6 is because they've changed it a bit and I want to talk about that. So for the last few seasons we've had it basically placed you a bit lower than you were last season so for example if you ended that season at like 3000 500 you would do your 10 placement games and if you played them very well you would get placed around the same SR but a bit lower than that and then you would get a massive SR boost so you would climb above that after the first games that you played if you won them so you basically placed a bit lower last season than you were and then it would give you an SR boost so you could quickly climb up again the problem that they found with that was that maybe some people lost their first games and then they just dropped down lower than they were last season and they didn't have that SR boost anymore so they just got stuck at lower ranks now they've changed that and in season 6 what's going to be happening is you will not really place lower than you were last season unless you perform really bad in your placement games so basically let's say that you've placed, uh, you ended the last season at 3500, you win maybe 5 of the games and you perform decently, you perform basically as good as you did last season in all of the games that you played, it's very likely that you're going to be placed around 3500, maybe a bit higher or a bit lower depending on how well you performed in those games. Also win and loss ratio doesn't really matter that much I think, uh, I don't think they've said anything about changing that but I'm very sure in the previous seasons it did really matter if you won the most or if you lost a lot of them it's mostly down to how you performed in those games even if you won all the games in all your placements and you play terribly like you got five eliminations and like 10 deaths in every single game you're probably going to be placed lower than you were last season but if you perform really well this season in all of the games that you play then maybe you will get placed a bit higher than you were last season. And that was not really the case in the previous seasons, because even though you performed amazingly in all the placement games in season 5 and 4, you still wouldn't really get placed even as high as you ended last season. Maybe some people did, but then you had to be extremely, extremely good in all those placement games. But then after that, you would get that massive SR boost, so you could just climb over your last season SR, like, really quickly. So basically what they changed for season 6 is they're just going to place you basically where you were last season. So your placement games are going to matter, yes for sure. If you end at like 3500 as I said, you perform decently, then yeah you will probably get placed at the exact same SR you were last season. No SR boost or anything, you're just going to start off where you ended last season. But if you perform really badly, then maybe you're going to be placed lower than you ended last season. And that's where you're going to be starting. You're not going to get that SR boost or anything. And you're just going to be lower than you were last season. And it's the same thing if you perform extremely well. You might get placed a bit higher. But that's basically all they changed in Season 6 for placement games. And I do think that's a good change that they made. Because getting placed lower than you were last season. Even though you got that SR boost made you feel kind of bad. Because if you were like Master last season. And now you placed Diamond. And then you lose those first games. It just made you really annoyed that you were stuck in Diamond. But now instead you're just going to be placed basically where you were last season so i think that's a good change but yeah that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys found it helpful and informative and maybe even entertaining so yeah good luck in your placement game guys and i'll see you in the next video take care bye